Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo and welcome back to another Men Arts video here. Today we will be tackling the one and only Fire Chimera or Chimera or Chimera, how you want to pronounce it, but I believe the Americans or the Europeans pronounce it as Chimera. So it's fire, which means you need lots and lots of water. But mercenary, unfortunately, sorry, this video is going to be focusing on the mercenary points of view while pointing out specific parts about the other classes because I cannot really comment on the other classes because I do not have those decks uh, made for Dragon or Chimera. So point is, point is, point is, my point is, is that uh, I'm gonna I'm going to be only able to share my perspective on the mercenary class, which is the one that I'm maining right now. Even though I do not actually have a uh, soccer soccer little grain, which is one of the core mercenary cards back then in tier one ice dragon, because wind is strong against ice. But right now, Camara is fire, so I would say it's still a core mercenary card because of the two turn I believe two turn. Uh, physical damage up buffs it gives as well as it being a low cost 3 cost cut so little soccer gray or soccer little gray is still a very very good card for mercenary you can try to replace it with another card called brownie which i actually do have uh hang on i have brownie it's actually a, a fairy which is i have it i'm just trying to find amidst the sea of waifus we have here right now uh i'm blind She's definitely you are. She's ultra rare. What? I'm blind. Where is what? Wait, wait, wait. Is she still SR? No. Is she in the deck? Wait, 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 wait. No, she's not in the deck. Where did she go? One sec. Just let me put my rarity first. Okay, okay. Yeah, there we, there she is. Cause I, I did it by levels just now. Oh, she's still level one. I haven't actually leveled her yet, even though I got her the UR. So she's like the mini soccer grey. But the problem with uh I can actually replace her with this. But the problem is I'm keeping her inside, right? It's because my or rather most of the bards I know have Claire. You realize Claire is actually in my deck right now and Claire is just a good self buff. Six thousand, I got an MR version. So if you have her at UR it's not so good because she's not synced. Synchronizing means that you're using the card with the class that it is from. So I'm not a merchant or a male, so I only get 6,000 instead of the 11,000 at MR. But 6,000 damage buff is still pretty good. So that's why I still have Claire. And Claire has very high uh, base HP. So I need to off my Steam. Sorry for the Steam notification. Alright. So Claire has 4.1k HP, which is very good if you are actually, actually low on HP on your mercenary. Some of the mercenaries that have cleared. Uh, Sorry, my phone. I want to mute my phone as well, so there's no other noises. Apologies. Some of the mercenaries I know only have like 18,000, 90,000 HP going into Fire Chimera, which it's okay. But if you get what we call aim bottled or snipe, like you get attacked by the AOE attack followed by the attack in a row, uh, you might not be able to survive. So it really depends on whether your team has enough, like you know, physical damage downs, like Robert. Do they time their burnets properly here? The kind of stuff to keep you to keep you alive. So, my deck right now have Owen as leader because she's basically my main water or uh, ice damaging card. So I want to make sure that I have the I I have her at, at as high physical damage as possible. Most people actually put Sigrun as leader because that will give them more HP. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys a difference here. If I put Sigrun as HP here, I will actually have twenty three thousand. So just one thousand more actually. But since I have Claire in my deck, HP is not really a problem for me, so I'd rather put Owen here. So you can actually play around to see how you can customize the deck. There's also, there is also actually another uh, two cost uh, Ice Element or Mercenary card, which is right here. If I have it, I have it. This one. But 2940 and that is two cost, but this is 2930. So both is actually the same, I guess. Yeah, but I think in terms of stats, this one gives more, unless I'm wrong, can't remember actually. So I'm putting this guy inside, instead of, wait, wait, let's just check, maybe I'm wrong, okay. Yeah, so the other guy gives more HP, that's why I actually brought the other guy, and it's actually UR, so ultra rare, so it's better to bring that guy instead. Where did he go? Where did he go? He's escaping my eyes right now, there we go, here it is. 
So this is my deck I'm bringing. I have Elaine. Alright, just explaining to you guys. She can reduce magic damage. So having her at UR is fine. I actually cleared my first Fire Chimera. Hell, no continue run with uh, UR Elaine. Getting her to, of course, uh, Minion Rare is going to be very good for her party. Okay, and burn it to reduce magic damage. And who else? Robert to reduce physical damage from the claw. Even though the claw actually can do magic damage as well. So, should I replace Brownie with... Nah, I'm going to leave this here because this can actually chain with uh, Claire if my Bard is actually using Claire as well. So, that's why I leave her inside. So, some of you guys, if you don't have a Claire on your Bard, like if you know you're playing with a friend and you know your friend doesn't have a Claire, you can actually change uh, the Ether to Brownie. And Brownie is actually one of the fairies that you can actually get from the drop, as a drop. Like, you can farm it. It's not something that's gacha. Elaine is actually from the 10,000 coins. Uh exchange so you go to notice a uh, coin exchange you can actually get elaine from that so it's not a gacha character unlike uh soccer little gray and brownie is like the lousier version of soccer little gray for those who are playing mercenary and this is my deck i brought uh sorang just for damage you can actually arguably take her out and put a lower cost water to change your water flaring friends but it really depends but this is the deck that we bring and definitely not the best mercenary deck but just know that because in the current uh, state of KRSMA, there's not many strong water mercenary cards available for mercenaries. Yep. So I know there are one or two more uh, water attackers, but I don't have them. So with that, we are actually going to try. Okay, we're going to try. So there's some RNG involved. I hope I can actually clear it in the first run. So I'm going to be hosting it here. Okay, so Bunny actually hosted it. So I'm bringing Deer Buns as my merchant or mill and yeah, he's pretty strong so actually uh i would say merchants or mill need to be carrying their weight here in fire chimera because they have kelpie they have sigrun as main water attackers basically more than uh more than a mercenary can bring and offer right now so we're just waiting on a public teeth right now and hopefully if everybody gets their debuffs right we should be able to clear it our Explain as usual on the way as thing goes. So as Asius has put it here, mercenaries are forced into a sub support role like Elaine for magic damage reduction, Robert for physical damage reduction, Bernard for magical damage reduction as well. And of course we bring Achilles. Achilles is for uh it's an RNG kinda I forgot to explain that one. Basically Achilles can have a chance, a pretty I'll say 50-50 chance or lower to stop. Uh, an action of a certain part of the Chimera itself. There's two parts that you want to hit, alright? So basically the Chimera has one, two, three, four. Four body parts, two wings, alright? One of it is a uh, magical defense base, so physical attackers will, like me, will attack that one. And the other one is physical defense base, so magical attackers will attack that one. And that one can actually heal. The claw it's also one of the parts in the main body, so there's like basically uh, four parts. So as a mercenary and, mer uh, and merchant, you need to attack the right, your right side, the left wing. Okay, so the, the boss, left wing, your right. It's very confusing, so my right, okay, this side. <laughs> so you will use Achilles on the wing if you see it buffing. So how do you know it's buffing? You'll see it shining, later you'll see what I mean here. And hopefully we get Burnets at the start, because on turn two, she will actually cast the first AoE. So I managed to get Bernard. Sweet, I'm gonna cast on the body. Oh, look at this. Okay, so our Thief has Bernard as well. So you can safely say that this Thief know how, knows how to do, or actually has a deck to do Fire Camera. So that's the first thing that you can do because our Thief is a public Thief, I think. So we have quadruple Bernards here. So this will reduce the AoE damage on turn 2 and it will help out the healer a lot because she might not have her 4 cost AoE heal right from the start. Bits of RNG. Yeah, this is the AoE damage that will do a lot of damage to you. So it's 5.3k right now. That's okay. And look at that. The claw itself is 8.5. So Robert will actually be pretty decent here. And I believe merchants have uh, cards that reduce physical damage. And you should always reduce physical damage on the claw. So I have Achilles here, which is good, which means I can use it for the wing later on. So right now, what I can do is I can use Robert, I think, since no one is using uh, any 
attacking skills. I don't need to chain with water. Actually, I could have chained with water here with the teeth, but... Yeah, I think I should have, I think. But basically, this is actually a buffing card. Increases uh, the teeth's magical damage. It's more like her setting up to do more damage later on. So for most classes, right, they can burst from 5... Uh, 5 costs or 6 costs onwards. For mercenaries, usually for me, it's 6 costs. Because I have a 2 cost physical up card, and then I can chain it with a 4 cost uh, Owen, which is my main DPS card. So, 6 cost is where a mercenary can actually burst. And it's good to understand all the other classes so you know when to actually buff or debuff your team. And I think that will really help you out in terms of what you want to do when you're fighting in. With five camera before I get sniped. Okay, I didn't get sniped. I didn't get sniped, guys. I could have died there. I could have died there. So it's very RNG based on five camera because sometimes your party member might just be unlucky enough to get sniped. So what I'm gonna do right now is use Achilles on the wing here. This wing will actually give the chimera a magic amplification buff, and it's permanent. So I've actually gone to turn 15 before with uh, XQT, my friend from Dragoness last time. Some of you guys know him. So I've actually uh, go, gone out to turn 15 and we have not cleared it because Achilles actually failed to disturb the buff uh, on the first time he buffs. So if Achilles actually works here, this run will be easy peasy, straight up. Straight up. Because I'll disrupt one of the uh, magic and buffs for the Chimera itself and her AoE damage will be very very small if I can actually stop it. Of course, if I Elaine it plus Robert it, it will be fine. But if you're unlucky, not to disrupt it here, which is like right now. <gasps> I just jinxed it. Uh, okay, so what you're gonna do next here is I'll be using Elaine on the main body later on, in before I get sniped. Okay, see, this is why I view HP, alright? So some people are doubting me why I view HP. If I didn't view HP right now, if I have 18k or 19k HP, I'll be dead. And AK sniped, guys. AK sniped. So right now, if my healer don't have a burst heal on me, I'm dead if I get hit twice in a row again. So there is some nice heals from the, the bard, so I should be safe. I should be safe. So I'm using Elaine on the main body to reduce the magical damage from the AoE attack later on. It will still hit very hard because of the magic damage up from the wings, which I failed to stop with Achilles because Achilles' uh, stopping action is based on RNG, which is very unfortunate for me. Very, very unfortunate for me. So... Failing to stop the first magic uh, amp is not so uh, dire, alright? If you fail to stop the second magic amp, okay, and your team can survive with all the burners and Elaine's and all that kind of stuff, you still continue to destroy the left wing, which is the one that I'm hitting right now, the right side one. But once you destroy the left wing, you just go for the body. Like, you cannot get, you cannot get greedy. You cannot get greedy with trying to destroy the claws and the wings. You just go straight for the body because the, the chances of you clearing it while destroying all the parts, it's going to be very very low. So once you clear the left wing, my right, just go for the body. Okay, so that's just my experience so far when I have been doing for other people. So thank you to them. These, these are actually the insights that they have shared with me and I'm sharing with you guys right now. So right now, the wing is actually going to heal, which means we can actually... Okay, basically if you want to destroy everything, right, you need to get the wing to heal once. So we have... I'm not too sure if this is an AoE heal, so I can actually go for my combination attack, but I don't know whether they are going to do the combination attack. No, they are not. So I'm going to buff myself Claire here. And then go for a burst next turn. That's what I'm going to do. Hopefully if I don't die. This is an AoE heal. Please be an AoE heal. Okay, okay. But Bart's good, guys. Bart's good. Bart's good. Alright, so there's a physical damage down from the merchant, which is very good for me. Next turn, I'll have a very, very strong burst with my Owen. I hope the Bart will use Claire, please. If the Bart uses Claire, I think I should be able to do 100,000 without a crit. I think. I just think. I'm not very sure because it's physical damage. I mean, physical defense down here. Just praying that I can do it. So now the left wing, or rather the right wing, is gonna heal. Claws charged up, and it's gonna do a lot of damage to you. the butt. The one shot the butt. Oh god, the butt almost got sniped. 
The Bard also has a lot of HP guys. That's at least yeah, she has 20k HP. She has 20k HP. Okay, I cannot disrupt this, so I'm hoping that we can get Achilles next turn. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna to, to do damage. Hopefully if there's a Claire plus something from the Bard. Okay, we have Kelpie up as well and Bunny is actually buffing. Yes! Okay! For sure the wing is gone. For sure. Alright, we got this guys. This is gonna be one of the strongest damage we're ever gonna do. We're gonna do. So this is actually very good for us. We have three chains. And we have Claire physical up. I have my Claire physical up previously, plus my own. Uh Eater, 8k physical up, which means 8,000 plus 11,000 plus another 6,000. That's many thousands basically. I don't wanna do my math here. <laughs> we should be able to burst down the left wing. Which means she won't get her buff, I think. Which is very important for us. Come on, 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 kill it, kill it, kill it. Alright, we got the healing wing down. Come on, Owen. Come on, Owen. You got this. You got this. Give it a crit. 103,000. Oh shit, it might not be enough. Oh no. Please. Oh, it's a crit. We did it, boys. We did it. No shit, it wasn't enough. Are you kidding me right now? Oh god, it wasn't. We didn't get destroyed. Oh god. What luck is this? Oh boy! I have no Achilles! We lost! We lost! <laughs> Someone's dead! Uh, I'm gonna Roberto! Uh, Bafto! I'm just gonna hit the... Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna hit the wing just in case nobody hits it. Oh, I think Bunny is hitting it though. Oh my goodness, are we gonna burst it down in time? Shit, I think I made a mistake. I should hit the claw. I think I made a mistake, guys. I think I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Oh god, mistakes have been made. I think I just let my team down. I think I just let my team down. I think I just let my team down, guys. I think I just let my team down. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Mistakes have been made. Four chains! Oh man, the teeth is good. No, okay, this teeth is good. Teeth is strong, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy, I attacked the wrong thing. I think I let my team down. Okay, maybe not. Maybe no one attacked the, the wing, okay? Yeah, no one attacked the wing, guys. No one attacked the wing. So I'll be the one to destroy it. Okay, okay. Please? Okay, I killed it. Okay, chill guys. Chill. Chill. I think I did the right thing. <laughs> I think I did the right thing. I think I did the right thing, guys. Are we gonna get all parts destroyed, run? Is it gonna be possible? Oh, you were aiming the bag, you changed it. Okay, cool, fine. Thank you. Now it's whether anyone dies. Oh shit, someone's gonna die. Oh no! I think I'm the lamb. Oh, the butt! Shit! The butt died and we might not survive! Oh god, we lost! <laughs> we lost! <laughs> um, attack center? Okay, okay, attack center. Attack center, guys. I think we lost. <laughs> I think we lost, guys. We lost. We lost. Why well, didn't he use the first card earlier on the turn he almost killed the right wing? I didn't have enough cost. I didn't have enough cost. I had to use another buff just now. I don't think I made a mistake on that one. Like I did a, I did a wing correctly. I did, I did a wing correctly. I had to use the I had to use the bomb. Oh no. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna fail. Yeah, we're gonna fail or the thief is gonna sneak it in or something. Oh no, we did guys. 
me the Bunny's dead. I'm dead. Oh no, we were so close. I had two cards left over, are you serious? So it's my bad! Oh god, we lost. Should I even bother the Achilles here? Oh god, I'm sorry, Bunny. I'm sorry. I made a mistake, I think. If I killed off the wing. I think we have killed off the wing, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, Bunny. I'm so sorry. Oh man, guys, this is a clear at the cost of my team. In before, in before, Kazu, you scrub, you noob comments in the comment section. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad right now. Okay, I don't feel so bad anymore because the loot isn't that good. <laughs> I post next time. Man. <laughs> I'll host next, Bunny. I'm so sorry. I had two costs left over. <sighs> I panicked, guys. I panicked. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one more run. Damn it, guys. <sighs> now I'm thinking if I should put Brownie in. Nah, I don't think Brownie was good. Yeah, I think my deck's fine. My deck's fine, right, guys? Oh, uh, it's the teeth. I'm Merchants are also quite important for card draws. Okay, we have a guy called Nato. Good luck, guys. Hopefully, hopefully, it's good enough. So this is our second run here. Hopefully we get some good RNG this time, and I hope we get Achilles to proc. So just now we didn't get Achilles to proc. So basically, usually if Achilles proc right on the buffing wing itself, the run should be pretty kick straight up. Come on, burn it! Yeah, burn it! Let's go, quad burn it. Maybe not. Maybe just me. Oh, we have a Himiko from the NATO. Oh, Bunny didn't get burn it, so it's double burn it. So. The AoE attack is going to hit like 7,000, if I remember previously it was about 5.34k So you add like 1.6k damage to it So about 7k ish for the AoE damage right now Is Soccer Gaharis useful? I think it's a pretty good card for Bart if I'm not wrong But I'm not sure if it's good for Chimera, like me yep. Yep, I'm right, 7.7k And I take another 7.5k, it's cool I'm the guy probably with the highest HP in the whole team Hopefully I don't get sniped So, okay What do I do now? I have no Arceus This is pretty bad This is pretty bad Uh, I want to throw away some cards, but Should I leave this 2 cost guy here? Uh, I'm just going to use the I'll leave the two costs. The reason why is because the two cost guy is easier to combine later on with my physical up skills because it costs lesser. And that one cost difference might make the difference later on. So it allows me to throw in more cards during the burst damage phase. That's what that's that's my thought process. It might be wrong, it might not be correct. I'm hoping it's correct. <laughs> Oh shit. If the bard get, gets hit again, that's why we call imported guys. And the run will be over already. Come on, Achilles! We need you, bro! No! No arc. Guys, no arc. This is bad. Uh, what can I do now? Okay, I'm gonna buff. Uh, I'm not gonna use Elaine right now because I'm gonna use Elaine in the next turn, anyways. And my Elaine buff lasts for 3 turns, so. I mean, my Claire buffs last for 3 turns. 
so I'm gonna use this. So by the third turn, I would not need to use five cores just to combine. Yeah, so I'm just using there right now. I'll use Elaine because I can't stop the the wing buff anyways. So I'm gonna use Elaine on the body later. On the body, and we're gonna take like twelve thousand damage right now. So. Twelve thousand damage. We can still survive with twelve thousand damage if people don't get sniped in before Bunny. Bunny gets sniped. <laughs> I think they're Robert as well. So, in terms of RNG this time, my hand is not so good. Maybe should I, I should just remove Soren. Not too sure, but Soren actually helped out in the previous run at the end for damage. So you can't say that Soren was bad as well. Okay, physical damage. I mean, defense down on the left wing. Okay, it's good. I take the hit. That's good. Okay, very good, very good. So, in terms of damage so far for this turn, not so good. I mean, not too bad for us. So, I have Elaine. Oh, okay. I only have Elaine, so... I might get... Okay, we have AoE heals next turn, so... Nobody will be at risk of getting sniped. Yep, nobody will be at risk of getting sniped. So NATO, the thief will be able to do some good burst next turn. So next turn is where we do our burst, for sure. Hopefully I get my two cost uh, damage up cut. No, I probably won't. I need my Owen. I don't have my Owen yet. Oh man, this is actually not very good for me as a mercenary. I'll not be able to do too much damage compared to the rest. So hand wise, I'm pretty pretty fucked. Yep. No Tarquin or Burnet we lost. <laughs> Uh oh, RNG is pretty bad for this run, guys. RNG is pretty bad. So KRS MA, I mean, aside from the RNG, right, it's actually quite hard to play. I mean, for the, the Hell Mode. Hell Mode is actually quite crazy. So we survived this. Claws buffed up again. I'm hoping the bar is an AoE here. Oh, I actually have Owen, but I didn't get my two claws. Should I use Owen here? Okay, no, they didn't use. Okay, so I'm not gonna use Owen. I'm just gonna use Sorang. I'm saving. Uh, okay, if Achilles can proc on the second uh, left wing buff, I think we still have a good chance to clear this. If not, right now we're actually. It's not looking very good for us. It's not looking good, very good for us. Quite scary for us right now. I'm saving Achilles for the left wing later on. Yep, fine. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm not using it right now. So some mercenaries will make the mistake of using Achilles on the claw because they saw the they see the claw blinking. I mean it still deals decent amount of damage, but it's not you know the damage that will affect later on. So I lost my Claire buff already, it's pretty bad for me. And I, don't, I don't have my two cost buffer as well. I'm hoping I get it next turn. Now the wing is going to be buffing, I think. Oh no, not yet. So I can save my Arcles. Nope, the wing is buffing. So I'm going to Arcles right now. Oh, I got my two cost. Yes! Okay, Arcles and Sorang. Okay, she's using the Claire, but Claire buff last three turns. So that's fine. No cost left over, right, guys? Okay, we got this. Oh shit. I should have used the two cost blue, I think, because Bunny is attacking. Oh no, Bunny! I'm sorry. So some people actually go as much as uh, going on Skype or any other voice communication program that you have, so that you know exactly what cards you guys have. Then you can do all the chains properly. I should have used my two cost blue there for sure, but I didn't know Bunny was going to attack right now. I thought it was going to attack next turn. So uh, mistakes have been made, guys. So it's good to communicate for sure for Helmut. But if I proc my Archimedes right now, things should be fine. The question is, why proc? 112k. Damn it, I should have, I should have definitely uh, chained it with them. I think we have killed. It will be close. It will be close. I don't think it will for sure get killed, but it will be close. Yes! Alright guys, 
Achilles. So no magic and buff. We are safe for now. The bar just needs to do an AoE heal. And we're good. We're good guys. But it's still gonna be hard because the guy managed to buff once. Okay, so what should I do? I think I'm gonna kill off the wing. Okay, there's two blues. I'm gonna self buff. I'm gonna open this shit. I have three cores. I'm gonna open this shit. Let's go. Alright, we have we have we have heals, so we are good. We have magic defense as well, and we have two burnets, so yeah, I think we are fine. It's probably gonna do like 10k damage, I think, if I do the math correctly for the AoE. Or less, actually, it might be less. No, actually, it's gonna be 12k because I didn't elane it this time. Yeah, I didn't elane it this time, so it's still be it's gonna be like 12k, maybe 15k if I fill my max. Nah, I think it's gonna be 12k. We have two burnets, we didn't have the two burnets during the elane, so it should be 12 13k. 12 13k, guys. For sure. Go man aside. My favorite card guys. Owen. Go for it, Owen. Do it. Nice. Wait, it didn't get destroyed. <laughs> Never mind guys, we got this guy, Guveret. Guveret will destroy it. This time we get the job done guys. This time. <laughs> we remember to use two costs. This time we managed to use two costs. <laughs> this time guys, I didn't miss it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, the boss heal as well, so we can actually go for the all damage parts kill if we want to. Depending on our luck right now. It's gonna be 12 to 15k damage. No, it's 9k guys, look at that. Without the damage M and we burn it. We actually do okay, so we can actually go for the claw right now if we want to. Okay, going to clear. Uh, Bernard the body and hit the claw. Should be what I should do, right? Yeah. If I'm not wrong, the clear buff from the bar is still on. This should be the third turn. Yeah, it should be up. If not, my Sigrun will definitely not have 16k AP attack. Nice heals from our bard. Nice physical defense down as well and all draw. All draw is very important. This is where you realize that drawing is very important guys. Because uh, we, won't, we will not have cards as the... You can realize that we are using like 3 cards per turn right now or more. Actually, to play it safe, we should go for the body, to be to be honest, but we'll see how it goes. Sometimes I'd rather, you know, not be too greedy, just go for just go for the kill. Okay, I have Elaine, I should save it. I'm gonna Roberto. Elaine. I'm gonna save the Elaine for uh, later. Get as many turns of magic down as possible. It's going to be quite hard for us to kill the, the claw. We don't have enough damage right now. We are reducing the physical damage, so the Bard, you can see, she doesn't have a heal cards right now because she's running out of cards. And now Bunny has run out of all draw. From what I know, the right wing doesn't actually heal again. I mean, I did until like turn 15 and it didn't heal again. So, you don't need to worry about the right wing healing again. Okay, we destroyed the wing. But, question is, can we kill the claw? I 
have Elaine and I have Claire, that's all I have. I mean, it says the boss already healed once, that one time. I'm trying to say that it doesn't heal again. With Elaine and one Burnet, I think we should be able to take this. Should be around 10k, 12k again. Oh, 25k with a crit, guys. So this is still single buff, so it's not gonna hurt too much. 9.5k. If it's double buff, right, we will definitely go for the body right now. Like if Achilles failed twice in a row, we will not go for the claw because the claw takes a while to destroy. Okay, I have double damage with my Claire buff as well, so let's go. We got three chains. Oh, okay, we have another Claire. Oh shit, save for next turn. Oops. But we have the Claire buff right now. I should be able to do decent damage with my Owen and my Sigrun. And we have the Teeth attacking as well. So, 4 chains. I don't think we can kill the Claw. The Claw's HP... I mean, it has pretty high physical defense, if I'm not wrong. Like, we're not doing a lot of damage to the Claw. I'm not too sure if the Claw actually deals... I mean, has high physical defense. Sixty-two thousand. Look at that. Sixty-two thousand, and it's like nothing to the claw. <laughs> Hundred and four k. Nice with a crit, guys. Oh, the claw still not dead. Close, guys. Close. Close. Oh, I got Achilles. Just in case anything happens, guys. <laughs> not gonna use it now, I'll save it. Ah, I think the claw is dead because we have Kelpie. I don't have any blue to chain, so sorry. Sorry, bunny. Just combing my hair here. Fabulous combing. Go, go, Kelpie. You got it. Alright guys, I think this time we should be able to clear uh, with 4 people alive. So the previous run is just me and a thief left because Archilis failed and I didn't get another Archilis. So yeah, you can say that Hell mode is... I would say 50% RNG based, some people might think that it's even higher. It's probably higher actually, but... Yeah, with the right cards, I think at least in 3 runs... Oh, I think it's dead already. Boss is dead, guys. With the Giver Reps. Come on. Yeah, we did it. Oh! Okay, it's dead. <laughs> I thought it's like 1 HP or something. <laughs> Yay! Good job! Yay! Good job, guys. Are we gonna get good loot? Come on! Come on! Oh boy, I didn't get a UR. It's fine. <laughs> I don't need it, it's a merchant card. But it's good to get it, you know? So, yeah. That's it from my mercenary point of view, and I share with you guys most of my thought processes. In the links, uh, in the uh, not, not in the links, in the description below, I'll actually leave behind. There's a guy that wrote a that he has a blog, and he wrote a guide for fire, uh, chimera. So if you want to have a like written guide or a general idea of what fire chimera, uh, actually is, you can go check that one out. If not, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's quite unfortunate. I actually don't know whether I missed that costume. I probably did. I apologize to uh, the Bart and Bunny for causing a death. I'm so sorry. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. My name is Inakwa Kazu. God bless and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Goodbye.